Hello beautiful people, welcome to the Mud Pie Caviar channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if it's your first time. If you enjoy what you're seeing, give us a subscribe, thumbs up, help me grow this puppy. Alright, so today we're going to talk about the five things I hate about my 2020 Harley Davidson Softail Street Bob. Let's do it. Now, number one has got to be the flimsy ass stock seat that it comes with. This thing weighs about one gram and it would just float away if it wasn't bolted to the bike, I swear to God. It's comfortable for about half an hour, but after that you can sort of feel it's just a little bit sketch. And it, it makes you sit too far forward. Like I, I keep wanting to sit right up on the back edge of it. Because I'm 5'11 and it, is, it tries to sit me too close to the mid controls, which makes them feel cramps, which can sort of affect, obviously have a knock on effect for the whole experience. All right, number two is gonna be the factory tune that the M8 comes with. And while I absolutely love this engine, it's an absolute beauty. So much torque, so much power, more than I'll ever need. Just the way they tune it, obviously for emissions, you know, to be within the parameters of the environmental considerations. It just has the tiniest lag on the throttle, just in the sort of lower RPMs and the lower gears when you're downshifting and and sort of want to just sort of get on that throttle a little bit. It just feels ever so slightly laggy. You never notice it at, at highway speeds or when you're up to speed, but it's just there a little bit, you know, just. So obviously that can be totally fixed with a, a tune, any like power vision tune or whatever, you, whatever you're going to run. So that's not a, a deal breaker either. So number three, three for me has got to be the suspension the monoshock itself is fine up the back but I just find the front is really firm like really pretty harsh if you're going around corners at speed and kind of you can sort of feel the bounce of it it's a little bit stiff but at the same time, the bike handles beautifully and I do love the way it goes through the corners. So again, it's not a deal breaker. I wish it came with dual discs up front as standard on the street bob. I wish you had the double disc up there. It's that extra little bit of control and security. The braking in the front is, is adequate no drama there but i just feel like the rear brake is a little weak you know you gotta sort of get used to the rear brake and, and give it a bit extra stomp before it can really do its thing so number four is gonna be just the cosmetic one it's just this flimsy ass little gas cap plastic uh, it just feels so cheap as well, so I mean that's an easy thing to, to upgrade and, and people would do that anyway So that's something I'll definitely do And number five is gonna be the kickstand because I swear to god it gives you a little heart attack every time you got to give it a a good kick to just to make sure it's it's fully engaged, you know, and if you if you want to park the bike on any sort of with the front end on any kind of descent it just feels like the kickstand is just going to fold itself away and let the bike fucking fall over 
so that's a bit scary. Oh no, a bit wet. I'll put a video link up here. Check out the video I did on the five reasons I chose the street bob in the first place. Alright, there you have it guys. There's my five things I hate about the 2020 Softail Street Bob. So bear these things in mind. If you're looking at the bike, it's an amazing bike and I'm going to do my 1000 mile review coming up very shortly. So please give us a subscribe you guys. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps out the channel so much. I know you've heard that before. And this is Mud Pie Caviar. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.